You must pray, please, all the world's people. Please pray so that your mind can be more clear, so that you can know what to do. If you don't know, please believe me, I have no reason to tell you a lie at all. If I tell you a lie, God will punish me, and I know that. When people tell lies, and when it harms other people, their tongues will be cut off for an endless time in, in hell. Wow. Or they could even lose their speech or lose their tongue in the present life. Wow, gosh. Many punishments you don't know. It's beyond horrifying. Gosh. People don't know. That's why they dare do so many things and think so many things and cook up so many atrocities. If they know all this, they would not dare. They would just kneel every time they can just to repent, to ask for forgiveness from God. Yes. And they would not care about whether or not they eat full or not, whether or not they have clothes to wear, whatever. Yes, Master. <laughs> That's why all the monks, the real monks and the real priests, they know that. They feel that God will inspire them to know all that, or at least to understand that. And that's why they live their lives simply. They don't dare have more than what they need. Most monks have only two, three pairs of clothes yes. and have whatever food people give to them. But nowadays, people cannot go out and beg because the government might not want that. So they would have other people come to their temple or their ashram and give them food. But they don't ask for much more. They just keep the minimum possible because otherwise... The more you take, the more you are entangled in karma and in debt. Yes. Right, that's true. Like the Buddha, for example. He was a Buddha. Even all the kings came and, and prostrated to him and became his disciples. But he didn't ask for more. Mm. He didn't ask for whatever was necessary, only whatever they gave. Yes. He did not even have to go out and make for food. Right. Even his father he was a king. Yes, that's right. For example, like that. Yes, Master. Because they all know all this. They have the precepts taught to them quietly, secretly. That's why not all the Buddhists, most of the Buddhist believers don't know what kind of precepts the monk has to keep, like 250, for example. Wow. I went, I became a monk, so I know the precepts. And the Bodhisattva Kristigaba, the earth yes. Yeah, who stay in hell to help whoever he can all this time. Yes. He observed that the humans and all beings in this Swaha world always are creating bad karma, always make sin. Every little movement, every thought, every action is creating bad karma for them. Yeah, you can tell. Even when we're breathing, many of the invisible beings are not Invisible, but it's not visible to their naked eyes and kill wow. the viruses and all those things in the air. Yes. On the elements in the air and, and what we eat, you know, people have to cultivate for us and they kill sometimes worms, insects, butterflies and all that by insecticides. Yes. Even if they did not kill by insecticide, they also kill when they're processing, harvesting and transporting. Oh, uh, yeah. Everything makes karma. That's why the people who are greedy, they're too ignorant. They're just harming themselves at the end. And then they will lose everything, including the freedom of their soul after life. It's not like the more you have, the more you can demand, the more it is better for you. Don't be too proud about that. No, no, no. You can just serve and pray to God. Be vegan. Serve others, pray to God, make peace, of course. But best of all is to know God. Know the spirit that dwells within you.